These are the lands of the old Gadgirth, or originally Gategirth, estate. This lies in the parish of Coylton, not far from Anne Bank on the River Eyre. The stark but functional bridge at Gadgirth was built in 1909. Crawfordston Farm can be seen in the distance. The name of the estate is thought to come from the word gate or gad, which is an archaic measure of land, and the word girth or garth, which is an enclosure. This probably relates to the original grant of the land to the, to the Charmer family. The impressive Entigan or gad girth viaduct, until recently certainly carried trains, coal trains, down to the washery at Killock. Gadgirth also had a number of coal pits, at least two, Sadly, there are records in the late 19th century of people being killed down them. At least uh, two miners met their deaths through collapse of the roof of the mine. The 1906 Gadgirth Holm cottages were inspired by the arts and craft movement in a dated 1906. The Charmer family held Gadgirth from possibly the 12th, but certainly the 14th century, until around 1761. The name Charmer had come from the fact that one of the family had been the Lord High Chamberlain of Scotland, essentially in charge of the collection of revenues. The name Charmer is just a variation on Chamber and Chamberlain. One of the family distinguished themselves in the wars against the English fighting for the French, and were granted the right by the French King to use the fleur-de-lis on the coat of arms. The family incurred many debts supporting King Charles I, and the estate was sold off in portions. The last of the direct line was a soldier. Upon his death, members of the family took on the name Chalmers, but finally, in 1800, the estate was sold to a Colonel Joseph Burnett. An impressive weir once stood in the river around this corner carrying water down the lake to the old Privick Mill. Opposite that mill stood the original castle here, known as the Old Ha. The later castle was demolished in 1808. It had been a place where John Knox had preached. Also Mary, Queen of Scots, is supposed to have stayed here. Colonel Burnett built a new mansion house, also a walled garden, stables, etc. This became a children's home eventually, but was demolished in 1968. On the opposite bank of the River Eyre, overlooking Gadgirth Holm, once stood Anne Bank House. Latterly this was used as a hotel, but finally it was demolished. All that remains now are some of the ornamental tree plantings and the scant remains of the walled garden and some foundations.